My name is Anahito, and as a food editor at Goop, my job is to explore and try new things. And so today, I'm headed up north to the coastal town of Santa Barbara. Want to join me? I love being on the road. I could take the highway, but I prefer to take the scenic route. It offers ample opportunity to stop and enjoy more of what matters to me. When I travel, I prefer to stay somewhere that feels like home and treats me and my dog like family. For me, food brings people together. One great thing about a road trip is being able to catch up with old friends. I've been hearing about Sama Sama Kitchen on State Street. The food is Southeast Asian, made with fresh ingredients exclusively sourced from local farms. It was an amazing first day. I always start my mornings by taking a moment for myself. Well, sort of for myself. The best place to start the day is at Janine's, a bustling cafe in the quaint enclave of Montecito. As a food editor, I'm always looking for the freshest of ingredients. So I headed to the Montecito Farmer's Market to get some provisions for a sunset picnic on the beach. I found super fresh tomatoes from an organic farm in Goleta, delicious grapes, local avocados, and flowers. I brought a few things from home to round out my picnic basket and a treat for the bunny too. No weekend getaway is complete without a trip to the spa. So for my last day, I'm headed to Float Luxury Spa. Checking in? Yes. If you want to fully relax, I recommend the signature massage. Now I'm hungry, so I decided to stop at La Super Rica for one last taste of Santa Barbara. The tortillas are handmade to order, which makes everything a little more special. The tacos are insane, the chili rellenos are incredible, and the guacamole and salsa are so fresh. It's no wonder this was one of Julia Child's favorite restaurants. Thank you, Santa Barbara. For my full California Coast travel guide and to discover more about the Mini Cooper Countryman, check out goop.com.